the actual problem with the patient why we're doing a needle decompression. Okay, tension pneumo. Not a pneumothorax. Be careful with that. Okay? You're going to see test questions that are going to say pneumothorax. Be careful if you're going to call for tension. If you're saying it's tension, there has to be other signs and symptoms associated. What kind of signs and symptoms are we looking for? Hypotension. Okay, interesting. So I heard JVD. What do we know about JVD? Uh, late sign. So that's something that you're not going to see right away. How about tracheal deviation? Also a late sign. Okay, so blood pressure. How about just signs of shock? What if they say delayed cap refill? Is that tension? It is. Signs and symptoms of shock. Signs and symptoms of shock. Because why? Does tension have anything to do with shock? Yeah, it's obstructive shock. If your test question says, hey, my patient has delayed cap refill, pleuritic chest pain, pain on inspiration, I'm already calling for tension. What area are we looking to decompress? Okay, so I hear second intercostal space. What's preferred now in your textbook? Mid axillary or anterior axillary? Anterior axillary. What I can do here is I'm going to go ahead and grab a needle decompression. Anyone want to take a stab at the length that you is required of a needle decompression? 14. So it's a 14 gauge. That that tells us the circumference of the lumen of the needle. But how about the distance? How three, three, three and a half. Three and a half. Now it's not a bad idea to hit the rib just so we know where we're at, and then I want to be able to ride up and over that rib. Once I'm in and I feel me go into the tissue, I can go ahead and pass my needle, or my catheter rather, and when I pull out, you're gonna hear that rush of air. Did I need to cut a gloved finger to put onto this catheter? Did I need to put a three-way stopcock on the, on the tip of it? No. The lumen is so small that the likelihood of getting air into the patient's chest is so small that it's not gonna happen, right? Uh, so those days are over where people are like, well, I have to put a three-way stopcock on it. No, you, you technically don't, okay? So exactly how we did it right there, that would relieve air from tension pneumothorax. Any questions on that? You guys ready to do it? Yes, sir. All right, go ahead and grab a balloon.